in your packet you have pink clay and yellow clay a little bit of blue clay a little bit of brown a barbecue stick plastic knife and a template of a butterfly wing everything you need to make a butterfly and a flower okay that is what we're making today sometimes plasticine can be hard to work with as you can see here it takes a while for me to bend it the more you work with it the easier it becomes to work with the more pliable it becomes the softer it becomes the reason for that is because Plasticine reacts to the warmth of your fingers. If you have a hard time to work with a bigger piece and you want to soften it quicker, what you can do is you can place big block of it inside inside the plastic bag. This plastic bag close it and then you have several choices you can take it outside and put it under the Sun for about 30 minutes or you can put it in a bowl of hot water you can also put it under the lamp to do that you don't need to place it inside of a ziploc bag so let's say you took it outside for 30 minutes. That is what I did. And now let's see what it looks like. It's really, really soft. So now it's much easier to work with. You can make you can make a pancake really easy. A slab. It's very plastic, pliable, soft, but really easy. Plastic means that it bends really, really easy. You roll a coil, clay worm, and you can very easily bend it in an O shape. But before we begin, let's look at some butterflies. This one is orange with black lines and white dots. And it has a black body. This one is blue and brown and it has white lines and white spots. This one has more circles than lines. So it's blue and orange and it has circles. And those circles have circles inside of those circles. So butterflies can be any color you can imagine. But there's something the same about every one of them. So they can be any color. But if you look at those wings they are the same. The left wing and the right wing are identical. And right in the middle there's a body. So this is called symmetry. Whatever is on the right wing is repeating itself on the left wing. Let's talk about symmetry a little bit more. Every butterfly has the body, an antennae. This is the center of the butterfly. Then, let's put a wing on the right side. 
if the butterfly has this wing on the right side, it must have the wing on the left side. The wing that is just like the one on the right side. This is called symmetry. Now, when we put some decorations, we are going to put some circles and lines on this butterfly. If we put some circles on the right side, we need to put the same circles on the left side. If we put some lines on the right side, we need to place exact same lines on the left side to make this butterfly symmetrical. Now, think about yourself. Are you symmetrical? Is your right side the same as your left side? Can you fold yourself in half? Now that you learned about symmetry, we can start building a butterfly. So first, you know that you need the body, right? Right in the center. You have this brown piece of clay, cut it in three parts. One, two, and three. Now, one part will be the head, this part will be the body, and this is the tail. To make the head, you roll this piece of clay to make a little ball. Roll it between your hands, make sure it's all round. You can try using the table. Use your hand. Okay, it looks pretty round to me. Next, you start making a little clay ball just like we did with the head but then you roll it in only one direction to make a little cylinder cylinder is a shape that looks like a soda can now you have the body and finally, we need a little tail for the butterfly. So, start the same way. Roll a piece of clay in a little ball. Then roll it only in one direction to make a soda can. And then, you are making a carrot out of this soda can by rolling on the one side. Is a little carrot. Now you can connect all three parts together and you have the body of the butterfly. Next, I'm just gonna put it right here. Next, you need two wings. Here you have a block of yellow clay. Let's split it in half. We learned that we need two wings, right? On one side and the same on the other side to make them symmetrical. So let's cut this piece of clay in half. It's a little difficult, so be patient with it and just go slow. And then the more you work with it, you can twist it, the more you work with it, the softer it'll be. So at first, this piece of clay is hard, but you press, you press it in a circular motion. We are making a pancake. So you're pressing it into circular motion and it will become softer and softer. So we need to make two pancakes big enough for this template to fit on it. You see right now it doesn't fit, right? So 
I need to press it a little more and turn it around. You can put it on the table and press with your hand. You can you can jump on it. <laughs> your hands walking walking on it. Little hand dance. Okay, let's see if my wing fits on this little pancake. Yay! So we need to make another one. Once again, right now it's hard, so just be patient with it. Press and then rotate. Takes a little bit of time. Press, press, press. Little finger dance. Here, you have a pancake. It's a square pancake. Let's check if the wing fits. Yes, it does. Perfect. So now, what you're gonna do is you will carve out of this pancake this wing so place the template on top and then trace with a wooden stick trace around this template don't go uh, down hard with the stick don't gouge into it it'll be quite hard for you to do so just trace a little bit at a time so trace once go around this shape butterfly wing then trace again till your stick goes all the way through the clay and down to the table Okay, let's see what we have. We have one wing ready. So you can press it a little bit more. Okay, now we need the other one. You have some yellow clay left, so just set it aside for now. One wing is ready. Okay, so next. Place your template on top of this pancake. And then trace. Keep tracing, keep tracing. Till you carve it out the whole wing. Okay, now. Okay, we don't need the template anymore. So, to put it on the other side, just turn it over. And it's exact same wing. Now, let's decorate each wing before we attach. 
attach them to the body. From the blue piece of clay, let's split it in half. Okay, and then you have this piece, split it in half again. And then from each half, pinch just a little bit. So you end up having this bigger piece, two smaller ones, and two tiny ones. So take the medium size pieces and roll them in a little clay ball. Use your hands, roll between your hands, and then squash it to make a car wheel and do the same with the other piece and press it down to squash two car wheels I am going to decorate my butterfly so I know that butterfly is symmetrical so if I place this circle on top of this wing, I press it down. Then to make it symmetrical, I need the same circle on the other wing. Now let's have some pink down here. So just slice a little bit of pink off of the pink piece of clay and whatever you sliced off split it in half and then roll these pieces into little clay balls between your hands press them down make sure they fit inside of the bottom part of the of these wings okay they do fit and one on one side and the same one on the other side press them down and now this little blue piece is now the little tiny 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 pieces so roll them in tiny little balls and then press them inside of this pink of this pink balls to make the decoration more fancy Okay, so now let's make it let's make these two circles fancy. So just pinch a little tiny piece of pink and roll these two pieces in to little mini clay balls and then squash them and place them inside of the blue. You see our decoration got fancier. Let's make it even fancier. Let's make, let's decorate around the swings, just like this. So to do that, you need take some of the blue and roll it to make, to make a snake, well, clay worm. May I roll it with both of your hands and stretch it out roll and stretch to make clay warm it's really long warm you see that's what I'm doing like this I'm rolling 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 and stretching now I have a long warm like a water dragon what I'm gonna do I will wrap this worm around this wing now our wings just got much fancier okay I will just roll around the outside part and not the inside that's where you attach the body to the wing so press it so the blue doesn't escape 
in a flight during the flight of the butterfly. Okay. So we need to do the same thing on this wing to make the butterfly symmetrical. I already have some this clay worm left. Let's see if it's enough. No, it's not. Just a little bit of piece missing. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of blue. And roll another worm. And place that worm around the wing. Okay, now you press in, press in down, so the clay sticks. Now we have two identical wings. Let's attach these wings to the body of the butterfly. So press one side and then turn it over and then smooth the bring the bring the yellow clay onto the body of the butterfly and then smooth it out so it sticks and then do the same thing with the left wing press it down turn it over and then drag some clay over onto the body of the butterfly okay and then you can Bend wings just a little bit to give them arches as if it's flying. Now, this butterfly is missing a couple of things. Every butterfly has antennae. See? So we have lots of yellow clay left and blue one. I want to make antennae out of the yellow clay. So I pinch some yellow clay off of the big piece and then I'm making a worm. Clay worm. Fold it in half and then attach it to the head of the butterfly and then you can make them fancy and roll in a spiral okay now it's looking fancy next step is to give this butterfly eyes. So you have the stick, one side of it is sharp, so just press down into the head of the butterfly and then you have eyes. Also the body of the butterfly has a little fuzz and some lines so you can draw those too. Okay, now the butterfly is ready. Now we need the flower for the butterfly to land on. So let's set this butterfly aside. Let's see what we have left. We have this big chunk of pink, yellow, and just a little tiny blue. So. Let's cut this piece into three even parts. What you can do is you can mark on top of the clay and see for yourself, okay, is this the same as that and that is the same as this? If they all look the same size to you, then you start cutting. 
slicing like a piece of bread. Press down with both hands if you need to. Remember, you didn't work with it yet, so it's a little tough. This type of clay is called plasticine. The more you work with it, the softer it becomes. So if it's too hard, just mush it in your hands and um, it'll be softer. Okay, three parts. Now, split each part in half. This is easy, huh? So, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Now, guess what? We are making, these are going to be paddles. But to make paddles, first, we are rolling each one of this into a little ball. So roll it. If it's hard to roll like this, take this piece and press it or pound it against your hand where these corners are. So they start turning, the clay start turning into a rounded square and then into this, into this wheel. And then you can roll it. Okay, so let's do this again. You have this little chunk and you need to make a ball out of this. So this ball doesn't have any corners, right? So you need to get rid of corners. So you can press it against your hand or against the table. Press the corner onto your hand so and the corner disappears see so here's the corner and I press that corner right onto the table and no more corner and keep pressing keep pressing and now it's rounded shape but we need to make a ball so now we have three so same thing here all these corners that we have, we need to get rid of them. Let's press them onto the table. So this piece is getting rounder and rounder. You can rotate like this in your hand. Roll between your hands. Try all of the all of these techniques, try all of this, see what works. Okay, press it into the table. Now, last one. between your hands. We need also the inside of the flower, right? So we have petals. Now we need circle right here. So take some clay off of yellow, what's left of yellow. Try to make it the same size as the petal. And once again, make a ball. This will be the center of the flower. So let's put it right here. Now, each petal, let's work on our petals. Right now, these are just clay balls. We need to make a soda can, a cylinder. Remember, cylinder? is the fancy name of the shape that looks like a soda can, like a small soda can, like that. So let's make all of them into this shape of a cylinder. So 
roll on the table. So you roll it and then you can squash a little bit from top and bottom. Okay, now you have all the cylinders, they're ready to be paddles. One last thing we need to do with them is press down. Now you have this flat, you flatten that cylinder. It looks like a paddle. Bend it to make an arc and then attach to the center of the flower. One paddle is ready. Press, bend. Now attach on the other side. Press, bend. Attach right next to this one. Press, you probably will have to press several times. Just press on the pedal and put your whole body weight over your hand and it'll squash, then bend. Press, bend, attach. Okay, last one. Press, bend, attach. Now you have a flower. This butterfly can land on. You can also, if you attach the wings well, you can bend the wings like this, as if it's flying. and landing on a flower.